Bishop Newman coming to town to take on the third-ranked Waverly Vikings on a Thursday night. Waverly, one of the top teams in Class B. They have quite the sharpshooter and sophomore Preston Harms knocking down the three there. This time he misses, but his buddy Cockrell is there for the putback. Trayton Cockrell finishing the night with four points. Waverly getting out to a big 16-2 lead, but Michael Lynch knocks down a three, and this is how we ended the first quarter. We'll give him an assist and a basket for Jude Palacek. So 16-7 after one quarter of play. Coming out in this second, Carson Sander. Tough determination, basket and the foul. He'd complete the three-point play, so it's a six-point game. Now weaving in and out, though, Cole Murray makes it an eight-point contest. Murray finished with eight. 27 to 15, your score here in the second. Easy basket for Hogan Wingrove. He finished with three, so we're now in the fourth quarter. Still a nine-point game. Waverly always keeping Bishop Newman at bay. Whenever they'd make a run, somebody would make a basket. That case there, that was Preston Harms. But coming back, Colton Chata, who finished with a game-high 15. Unfortunately for Bishop Newman, it would not be enough. Harms knocks down another. He led Waverly with 14 points, knocking down four three-pointers. And the Vikings get the victory 42 to 30. And those were your top plays of the game brought to you by the Waverly Community Chamber of Commerce, cheering for all the hometown Viking student athletes. Waverly, a great place to grow.